I would like to preface this video by apologizing if you can hear the rain and the thunder in the background. I finally got around to making this video and this is just probably the most perfect time I will be able to record this, but without stalling any further, in this software showcase I wanted to show off Bumblebee status. Now if you are not familiar with Powerline, Powerline is basically just an aesthetic of sorts. Um, it's uh, It categorizes information in these arrow blocks. Uh, usually in different colors too. There will be some icons using nerd fonts or font awesome. Um, so not only is this like used for your command prompt, but it's also used in stuff like Vim as well. Um, but without detailing too much any further, as you can see in my corner, in my i3 bar, I have that powerline like aesthetic and that is because I am using Bumblebee status. Now, before I show you how to install Bumblebee status, there's a few prerequisites you need to keep in mind. Uh, you're going to need i3 version 4.12 or later. You're going to need one of these Python versions, so 3.4 to 3.9. And you're going to need Font Awesome or uh, Font Awesome uh, version 4 or uh, Nerd Fonts. Um, I personally use the Nerd Fonts. Uh, the nerd fonts will allow you to have these icons in the little bar, of course. Now, to get started with installing this, what we're going to do is open up a terminal and we're going to type git clone and then we're going to git clone that repository. After that, we're going to open up our file manager. We could do this from the command prompt, of course, but I just want to give you a visual representation. And you'll notice that we have our Bumblebee status folder right there. With this Bumblebee status folder, we're gonna wanna put it somewhere comfortable. Now, we have our config folder right here, and that is exactly where I put my Bumblebee status folder. So I have the Bumblebee status, my Bumblebee status folder right here. And once you have it in a safe place, you're not gonna to have to really touch it much anymore. Um, but we're just gonna open up a terminal again because the from the rest of this, we're going to open up our favorite text editor and we're going to navigate to the i3 config file that you have. So find your i3 config file. Um, we're just gonna go to right here where the bar is. It actually says right here too where the bar is. Um, and we're just going to put this specific text, this specific text here for our i3 bar. The rest of this is unimportant. This is uh, my personal configuration, but this right here, I'm going to leave that in the description. But of course, a status command will have to point to where the Bumblebee status folder is. And uh, from here, we can utilize a theme and we can organize the different types of, uh, we're gonna call them modules um, <laughs> uh, here for the specific information that we want to show. So as an, ex an example, we're gonna open up the Bumblebee status um, documentation file. Um, and for our themes, uh, as you can see, we have our list of available themes here. We can choose different themes that we want to use. These actually come out of the box of uh, Powerline. Um, so I'm currently using Iceberg Dark Powerline, but you can also choose as an example, let's see what we have here. We're going to choose Iceberg Rainbow. So it actually tells us here Iceberg Rainbow. So we're just going to delete all of this Iceberg Rainbow. And then we're going to write. And then we are going to refresh. And there we have it. We have our Iceberg Rainbow theme there. Uh, now, what we can also do, like I said, is that we can mess around with the different uh, modules. In fact, that's what they're called, modules. <laughs> um, and you know, we can add all sorts of things. We can add time, which I have. Uh, we can add our battery life. We can add uh, specific battle uh, bubble B status errors. Um, there, there is a lot to mess around with out of the box, and there is probably a lot of uh, third-party support. Um, but as an example of messing around with where that is, we're just going to delete memory here and we're going to put memory here and we're going to write and we're going to refresh 
and as you can see it moved memory right next to date and time um but yeah that is pretty much what power uh, what bumblebee status is it is a power line aesthetic for i3 bar uh, i hope this video was helpful to you and uh thank you for watching